Hello and welcome to the Car Care Nut channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to service your transmission fluid and your rear differential fluid on your Toyota Hybrid and Lexus Hybrid. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider subscribing to the channel, check out some of my other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And without further ado, let's dig right into it. So a small overview before we get started. The transmission fluid on Toyota hybrids and Lexus hybrids, I recommend you replace the fluid every 60 to 90,000 miles. That seems to be the range where the fluid is still fresh and it is a good idea to replace it then. Time limit is, a, is around six to nine years. One thing I will mention about these transmissions, let's say you just bought one with 150,000 miles and you're worried, what if you change the fluid and you cause damage to the transmission? That is not the case with hybrid transmissions. If you want a little bit more information on that, I will leave a link right here that explains how the transmission work and why that is not an issue to replace it. Having said that, all wheel drive models, like this 2017 RAV4 behind me, will have a differential in the back. Now, in technical terms, it is called a rear transaxle that houses the motor. Both of these units will use the same fluid, most of your Toyota hybrids and Lexus hybrids will use Toyota ATF WS. Many people will ask, should I use CVT fluid? Do not use CVT fluid in hybrid transmissions because they are not exactly a CVT. And another thing on fluid, please use Toyota original ATF WS on these cars. You do not want to be using aftermarket fluids. These transmissions are very reliable as long as you maintain them, which is the only maintenance on these transmissions really is the transmission fluid and some models will be the coolant for the inverter. Keep it original, you will not have any doubts and the aftermarket fluids, they might not be compatible with the hybrid transmission. All right, folks, so we're underneath the car. Let's talk about the hybrid transmission a little bit. So if you remember from my previous video on the inverter coolant, we talked about the drain for the coolant right here. Now this car is a little bit different. We're not going to focus on that, of course. But just as a reference, in case you've seen this in your car, the hybrid transmission does not have an oil pan. It, it actually looks similar to a manual transmission where it's just a case and that's about it. These transmissions, they don't have a filter. The fluid you're going to drain today is the total capacity of this transmission. There's no torque converter. There's no more fluid in this transmission than what we're going to drain. Let's talk about the drain location and the fill locations. On this transmission, which is considered a second generation or second and a half generation, if you would, the fill plug is going to be right here. I hope you can see it. It's really hard to film it. It's right next to the axle right there. It's a 10 millimeter hex and then the drain plug is right here. That's all you're going to be doing. All we're going to be doing is drain the fluid and then fill it until it overflows. Before we drain the fluid though, I want to bring your attention to one thing. Like I said, this is a second generation transmission or two and a half. So your third generation Prius your RAV4 hybrids, Camry hybrids from 2007 and up, they're all gonna have these two drain plugs in this exact orientation. And some of them are easier to access than others. So I will mention the cars that are slightly different. On a first and second generation Prius, you're gonna have a drain plug somewhere in this area, but then you're gonna, the fill plug will be in a different spot toward the front of the transmission. The Highlander hybrids, Almost all of them, and even the RX hybrids, they will have the drain plug right here, but the fill plug will be on the other side of the transmission, as you see in this picture. Make sure you locate, before you drain anything, you have to locate your fill plug, and as a common mechanical sense dictates, you always take your drain plug out first to make sure that the fluid you're going to be draining, you can fill it, because if there's a problem taking that fill plug off, you're going to have a problem filling the fluid and that's not good. That could leave you in a situation where you have a transmission with no fluid. Having said that, let's go ahead and drain the fluid. Take both plugs, drain the fluid. Let's take the drain plug off. Folks, when you take the transmission drain plug on these, 
You might hear a hissing sound like air was trapped and now it's coming out. That is completely normal on these transmissions. Don't think that they have a blocked vent or something. Here goes the fill plug. Now let's take the drain plug. You're going to want to be ready for this because it's going to make a slight mess because it comes out. Again, we said this is the total capacity of this transmission, so it's going to make a slight mess. So be ready for it. Here's my catch pan. Put it right there and There it goes. We're going to let this guy drain until it's done. And the more you let this transmission drain, the better we get every last drop of fluid out. Now that it's done draining, we're going to replace the gasket on the drain plug. This, this gasket just comes out like so. Here's the gasket. I'll leave the part number right here for the gaskets. They're all the same for all Toyota trans hybrid transmissions and Lexus. Here's the new gasket. Let's put it on like so. Install it back on the transmission. Tighten it down. Now let's go and fill our transmission fluid. So there are many methods how to, how to fill the transmission. You can use a hand pump. There's a lot of products out there. I'm just using a hand pump as you see in this picture. We're gonna take the hose, put it in the fill hole, and make sure it goes a little bit in so it, it doesn't give you a false reading because we're going to fill this transmission until it starts overflowing from that hole. So let me go ahead and do that and then when we get to the point where it overflows, I'll show you how to set the level. Before we fill it, I'm using Toyota WS Fluid. Most of these hybrids will take around three and a half to four and a half. So you want to have at least five quarts at hand. Extra fluid will will be okay, you can return it if it's unopened, but make sure you have enough fluid so you wouldn't stop halfway through the job. Let me fill the fluid and we'll talk about the level. So folks, if you see it right now, it's starting to overflow. I'm gonna overfill it a little bit. See how it's draining as I'm filling it? I'm gonna take my hose now watch what's going to happen when I take my hose off. It's coming down. We're going to wait for the fluid to stop draining from the fill hole. And that's how you set your level. At this point, your fluid is full to the correct level. You have to be patient with this one. It's going to take a little bit of time to drain, but don't be tempted to just close the fill plug and call it a day. You're going to have to wait for it to completely finish draining from the fill hole for the level to be absolutely correct. These transmissions, they don't like to be overfilled and they will cause oil leaks from the axle seals if they're overfilled. Otherwise, you're really not going to have any other problems overfilling it. Underfilling it is going to run at higher temperatures and that's how these things start failing prematurely. So we're going to wait for this to finish draining completely and then we'll install our fill plug. Now that it has gotten to a Steady drip like this, just a very slow drops. That's the correct level. We're going to go ahead and install a new gasket on your fill plug and reinstall the fill plug. Tighten your fill plug, clean up, and you're all set with this. This is how simple this is. Now let's go do the rear transaxle or rear differential. All right, so the rear transaxle or rear differential on your Toyota hybrid or Lexus hybrid. The, fill pl the drain plug is right here. The fill plug is all the way up there, right, right there. It's a little bit hard to access the fill plug, so make sure you perhaps get yourself a short 10 millimeter hex socket like this one, not a long one. An Allen key might work, but I'm just letting you know that getting to this one is going to be a little bit difficult because it's it the subframe right here is in the way and let's take the let's take it out see if you have a short socket it fits really well by the way folks i might have forgotten to say this and it's, it's a little bit essential 
You want to have the car level, four jack stands. Now, many people have asked me in my previous transmission video, how level is the, how do you check the level of the car? It doesn't have to be measured level, like you are building a, a frame of a house, but it has to be eyeballing level, if you would. So if, you're, if you have a steep driveway, that's not level. If you have only front jack stands or only real jack stands, that's not level. You want four jack stands. Try to get the car as level as possible. I am, as always, using the awesome Ben Pack Quick Jack that levels the car pretty good. My garage floor is relatively level. You want to have the car level. Now, now that we have taken the fill plug, let's take the drain plug and let's drain the fluid. Now, while we wait for this to finish draining, I want to bring your attention to one thing. On the transmission, both the fill plug and the drain plug are actually the exact same plug. But in the differential, your, your drain plug will have a magnet. And you can see this one has a little bit of uh, sediment on it. Now, what we want to do before you install this, take a towel, shop towel, any kind of towel, just clean it up really good. Get all that stuff out. Let me clean it up. I'll show you how the final result should look like. After we cleaned it up, this is how it looks. You can see the magnet right in the middle of the drain plug. That's how we want it. You can use a little bit of brake clean if you want, but if you're working indoors, brake clean can be much. But just like you've seen, I've used a towel. Just clean it up, a shop towel, and we're good to go. Now that we are down to a drip like this, we're going to install our drain plug. Make sure you got the magnet one. Put a new gasket. It's the same gasket as the one for the transmission. I will leave that number here again and tighten it down. All right, so now let's fill the rear differential or transaxle. I'm going to use my same hose. I'm going to put it in the fill hole. This one doesn't go as far as the transmission does, but it's the same idea. We want to get it in there so it doesn't give us a false reading. Let me fill the fluid. So I want to bring your attention to one thing. Do you see how you got fluid running out a little bit? I hope you can see it on camera. That is the false reading that I'm telling you about. You're going to get a steady flow. When this thing is all the way full, you're going to get a steady flow. Not like a little trickle like this. Do you see how it started dripping? So we're going to continue filling this one because I barely put half a quart in it and it's doing that. That's the false reading that I want you to be pay, pay attention to. You want to get a point when you take the hose out. It overflows, not just a couple drips and then it stops. So let's continue filling. Now it's full. So now I'm going to add a little bit more just to make sure we, we got it. I'd rather overfill it and let it drain than... See, that's a false reading. Again, guys, you got to be careful of this. Because all that overflow that you saw, that is just air pushing the fluid out and it's actually not full. So we're going to continue filling. That's what I wanted you to pay attention to because I've seen some folks underfill these things because of that. So let's continue filling. Let me see if it's full this time. Now it's good. Do you see that steady flow that's coming out? This can be a little tricky because they're sealed units and they're not very well vented, so they can overflow like that and you think it's good, but it's actually not good and not full. Now let's wait for it to completely finish draining the excess and then we'll install our fill plug. Now that we're down to a trickle, let's install our fill plug. Tighten it down, clean up. And you're good to go. That's it, folks. This is uh, a lot simpler than your uh, average automatic transmission. That's it. Fluid levels are set. We're all changed. See you in 60 to 90,000 miles. All right, folks. So as you can see, this is very simple. Probably simpler than you thought when you first clicked on this video. Folks, do these maintenance yourself if you are capable. They're very simple, very easy, and they will keep your hybrid transmission running for a very long time. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful and informative. If you liked it, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. 
And until the next video, may the Lord bless you and keep you, and you have a wonderful day.